2017 Fest Your host tonight is a man who is the jack of all traits. If he can't do it, he can't be done. Your host tonight is the one and only Michael no! Thank you. Thanks to the boys outside. Appreciate it. This is the 2017 Best Beats, the first ever. I'm sorry I'm your host. We tried to get Josh Demel. We couldn't get him to come, but he was gracious enough to send us a video. So let's start with that, Travis. Hello, my name I'm actor Josh Demel. What an exciting night to be at the first ever Best Beats. I wish I could be there tonight as your host, but I'm on the road promoting Transformers 4. I think you're in good hands tonight because that one now is awesome. Awesome, just awesome. Um, congratulations to all the nominees and, of course, the winners. I hope you enjoy what's going to be a great show. And last, go Beavers. Thank you for that great round of support, Josh Demel. At least I think that was Josh Demel. But he is right. We have a great show for you tonight. We're here to honor the best and the brightest from Minas State University Athletics from the year 2017. We're excited to have you guys all here. Hopefully, throughout the night, you'll uh, see some of your friends, your um, teammates up here on stage. Hopefully, you'll be able to laugh just a little bit as well. I had to use cue cards. I'm sorry. Demel probably wouldn't have had to. A couple of things. Award winners. We're going to have you use this door right here. Come across the stage. Uh, Mr. Steve Swenson and Athletic Director Andy Carter will present the awards. We'll stop for a photo over there. A big thank you goes out to our members of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee who worked on the voting. Everyone that's up for an award tonight was either nominated by a coach or a student athlete and all the uh, voting was done by the SAC members. Uh, this event, guys, is ultimately yours. So please, all of our SAC members, please stand up and let's give them a round of applause. We couldn't get the accountants at uh, Price Waterhouse to do the checking the names because of the fiasco at the Oscars. So I hired my own accounting firm, Mr. Bakken, Mr. Kemp. He's off stage. We'll be uh, checking the names tonight. If there's any problems or any issues, it's their fault. <laughs> and last, Travis Gavin is back in the booth up there. He's probably surrounded by about 10 Mountain Dew bottles just to keep him awake. He did almost all the work on this, you guys. So if you see him afterwards, give him a pat on the back. He did a lot of work, you guys. And also all the student athletes that did uh, that helped us with some of the skits we did. You guys were awesome to work with. You've been all year, but you were especially awesome this week. Hopefully we'll have a good laugh tonight. All right, so this is the Minot State University Athletic Event. We're gonna start this event like we do all MSU athletic events. We're going to start with the NSIC Creed. How should I stand? Just like this? Or like this? Or like this? Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> do I just do it whenever I want? So read it in my head, and then look up and read it. Do I get it when it takes those out? The NCAA, the NSX, oh my god, okay. You should like, you need to like hold up the paper so I can like read it off the paper. All right, I'm gonna try it again. Is this thing even recording the whole time? The NSIC, nope. The NCAA and the NSIC encourage and promote. <laughs> Encourages and supports. Encourage and promote support and sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. Oh god, I have such a short term memory. It's all for those. Encourage. Encourages good sportsmanship. Sorry. Encourage and promote good sportsmanship by student athletes. Encourage and promote good sportsmanship by <laughs> You're not gonna be able to put that line. You're going to have to give him a first line. <laughs> <laughs> Coaches and spectators. 
encourage and promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and parents? Oh. Oh. Encourage and promote good sportsmanship. Encourage and promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. That's the truth. That's the vision. As Division II student athletes, we commit to fair play. <laughs> As Division II student athletes, we. Oh God, I'm proud of this is bad. I should not do this one. As Division II student athletes, we commit to fair play. There's no responsibility. Right, it's not that hard, Pam. We invite you to support our. <laughs> We invite you to support our effort. Go Beavers. We invite you to support our effort. Go. <laughs> we invite you to support our effort. Go Beavers. We want to thank everyone that did the creed this year. Through the magic of editing, they all turned out pretty good. Thanks, everyone. We're going to start with our first award tonight. It's the Mr. and Ms. Beaver. This award goes to the male and female student athlete who best exemplify academic, athletic, community, and social standards of excellence. The nominees for Mr. Beaver Award are Luis Ricci Maya. Junior, men's basketball. David Burns, senior, men's basketball. Logan Gunderson, junior, football. Sal Rodriguez,
good. Insane. Right?
Gary Clemens. The nominees for male sophomore athlete of the year are Michael Lawrence. The nominees for male senior athlete of the year are 
anybody out there heard of Bean Boozle? The game where you get a jelly bean that tastes, well, not good, barf, grass clippings? Yeah, we had to make our students do that. Hey, welcome, Vespi fans. We're here with uh, some student athletes doing the Beaver Trivia Bean Boozle Challenge. Um, today we have Kelly Creech from soccer, Colin Wilson from track and field cross country, and Logan Gunnison from football. The name of the game is get the question right, you don't have to eat a bad bean. If you get it wrong, the cup on the right there has uh, beans that are sorted like uh, stinky feet, throw up, uh, dead fish, some really good ones. The ones on the left are all guaranteed good, so that's the one you want to pick from. Any questions? Ready to get this uh, started? All right, let's do this. First one should be pretty easy. Anyone gets this wrong, they might be kicked out of school. Uh, what are the school colors at Lansing University? Go ahead and write it down and we'll hold it up on three. Right big enough for the people to see. Come on. There you go. We're looking for school colors. All right, ready? We'll hold it up on three. One, two, three. The red and green. Anyone get that one wrong? Anyone kick out of school? All right, that's a car. That's pretty close. <laughs> All right, I will uh, guarantee they're going to be a little harder at this one. Okay. Yep, you got a good bean. Everyone pick from the good bean. Wow, you can have a couple if you want. Sabrum. Mm -hmm. Cotton candy. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Second question. For one month in 1983, Minot State had a new name. What was the name of Minot State University? Uh, you really close. <laughs> yep, Kelly's got it. She's hammered this one. Alright, ready? On three. One, two, three. Dakota Northwestern. Uh oh. Oh, 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 the local kid gets it. Alright, so if you want to grab your green bean out of there. Okay, and then everybody at the other two, let's grab a bad bean. See how we do with that. Oh, I got one. You're not too bad? I'm not sure what I'm getting right now. I'm not going to lie. Don't no throw up, though, or was it throw up? I don't know. It tasted all right, so I knew it was throw up. <laughs> all right. This one might be really good. Come on, concentrate. What is the official name of the school song? I got toothpaste. 
It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. We got seven. I'm good. You didn't really call the action. What did you get? That one reaction on you. Oh, someone's breast smells bad. That one wasn't so good. Oh, I don't know if I can awards are top newcomer and comeback player of the year. The top newcomer award goes to a first year player. It could be from any class. The comeback award goes to the individual who has overcome significant adversity on or off the field to have a noteworthy impact on their team. The nominees for male top newcomer award are Justin Demare, Jr. Baseball.
second set of student athletes here. To my immediate left, I have Jordan Grant from softball, Trevor Rothstein from men's basketball, and Haley Swain from volleyball. We saw the last group you had. They were, uh, they were pretty good. I think this group is, is ready to go. I think we have one of the hard questions answered right so far, so you guys have a real lofty number to reach. <laughs> uh, we'll, go, we'll get started off with the easy question. All right? What is the mascot of Minot State University Athletics? You don't have to give his name, you just have to give what kind of animal it is. We'll do it on three. One, two, three. The beaver. All right. So we got the two cups there. One has good beans. You guys can all take one from the good bean. I believe it's on the left there. Um, just remember the one on the right has good and bad ones in it. So everyone in there is good. Don't look tricky. Don't worry. Don't worry. The good one is kind of nasty. Licorice. <laughs> All right, gonna get a little tougher now. Ready? Second question. Minot State University just celebrated its centennial. What year was the university founded? Centennial. Yeah. Nineteen ninety eight. All right, on three. You ready? One, two, three. 1913. Dang. <laughs> so you can go ahead and get a good game there. And I'm sorry guys, bad means cut. <laughs> We'll move on quickly so you can get out of here. Alright, we'll right here. All right. complete the line of the school song. I won't sing it, but complete it here. Onward Beavers, onward to win. Onward Beavers, complete the line.
Finance State Team Spirit Award is given to the program that shows outstanding support of fellow student athletes, teams, clubs, and events on campus. The finalists this year are baseball, football, women's soccer, and men's golf. And the Team Spirit Award goes to baseball. Hey guys, I have a hunch, you might want to hang out right there for a second. Guys, <laughs> foreshadowing. Minus State is also awarding the Community Service Award this year at the Best Beast. The finalists are baseball, softball, men's basketball, men's and women's cross country track and field. And the Best Beast goes to, lots of drama on this one, baseball. So we had a ton of fun with the Beaver Bean Boozle. You guys might be getting a little bit bored with it. But we're going to bring it back one more time because we figured we should have at least a couple coaches have to get a bad bean. Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the second installment of the Beaver Trivia Bean Boozle. We have uh, our minus eight coaching staff here today. Um, we're going to try to uh, get through this without any throwing up. Uh, we have Matt Merkin, women's basketball, Dana Cordova, volleyball, and Mike Aldrich from football. So we're going to get right to it with the questions. This one should be an easy one. What conference does my essay play in? Go ahead and hold them up. Northern Sun. All right, so the cup of good beans. We'll go ahead and Take a cup of, take a bean out. Don't peek in, you can learn all beans in that one. All right, so, pretty sure they're gonna be a little tougher after this one. Second question, who was Minot State's first president? There's a dorm room named that. You can do a last thing more. All right, let's hold it up. Hold it up. Arthur Crane. Crane? Yeah. My own sway. Yeah. Mr. Merkin, you get to go from the good cup. A little, little bit of good my own. Mm. Bad cup? Good. Bad cup. <laughs> what is it? Stinky shoes. I got a good one. Next question. My United States football team played its first season in 1925. Mike, this one's for you. You should get this one for you. <coughs> what was the team's record in 1925? Hint, it was really small. Ready? Answers? Two and one. Two and one. Two and one. Oh! oh! Bad cut, all three. Oh, and seven, <laughs> right? Number one. <laughs> Back up. There's the battle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is rock and seafood. It tastes like the dust. Minnesota State has won 19 conference championships in men's basketball in its history. 
What was the first year of the first championship? Nineteen twenty one. Nineteen thirty two. Have some faith in the beers. <laughs> 31 points. We have 19 championships. 19 championships. I just know I have them in there in this time. Number 20. Oh! 20 next year. Shots fired. 20 next year. Mm -hmm.
Okay, Travis, we'll go with where you wanted us to go. Nominees for top game or moment of the year are... Football. Beavers beat rival of University of Mary. 21 points. Women's soccer. Why not say crushes for Mary six times and fits the school's first ever NSIC Raider Team Championship. Men's golf. Cody Reynolds with the rare albatross hiring the double eagle to a R517 to take the lead and win the Jamestown Invitation. Men's basketball. The Beavers took the best lead to pull off the fifth national champion, number 21 ranked Augustana, 88 84. And the best for Todd moment, the award goes to Cody Reynolds. The nominees for female top performance of the year are Chloe Melton, senior.
that? That's a lie. <laughs> Water dogs look like messy eaters. Why? Because they're almost dribbling. What's up, Pirates? Favorite letter? It's not R, is it? You think it's R, but it'd be C. <laughs> Why did the scarecrow win an award? Was he outstanding in his field? Uh, I gave all my dead batteries away today. Oh, did you do that? challenge. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter?
costume. So now we're down to the big three. Female, male, athlete of the year, and team of the year. You know you have, have had a good season when nobody else was nominated in your category whatsoever. That's the case with our female athlete of the year. She set nearly every record in Minot State offensive uh, categories. Your female athlete of the year, the ninja. The nominees for Male Athlete of the Year are Jordan Scholes, Senior, Baseball. Emma Rudolph, Junior, Men's Basketball. Aaron Ledeau, Senior, Carson O'Keefe, Senior, Nominees for the Team of the Year Award are Baseball, <laughs> Softball, Women's Soccer, and Men's Golf. And the envelope, please, as they say. And the best thing for Team of the Year goes to Women's Soccer. You can all come up, ladies. Seniors, you're reminded to come up after the event, pick up your senior plaques in red graduation stoles. Anyone walking in commencement is welcome to pick up a stole. Um, we'll have them up here following the event. Well, like the Oscars, we went a bit long, but I had a great night. I hope you guys had a great night. That's our show.
I want to thank all of you for making this possible and have a great year in Beaver Athletics. It's 9.05 at the PM and Linnell has left the building. Good night. Be Godspeed.